that's it. We are live. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Let me get out of here, which will be wonderful. So welcome everybody. Jiva Maya Yoga Wisdom Talks. This is wonderful. And um, even, even though we're in February, I wish you all a happy new year. I hope the year has been going well for you so far. I haven't seen you since the end of December, so I appreciate that you joined us today. Um, Jiva Maya Yoga Wisdom Talks is not going to be on a weekly basis uh, for the next few months at least, um, partially due to my schedule, but also because I feel we've all um, extended our time in front of the computer to the point where I want to be sure that if I ask you to get back onto that computer um, to, to hear uh, someone speak, that it's really worth your while. So um, we're going to we're going to be a little sporadic. So so keep your eyes open, and I'll be sure to give you lots of notice when when we're going to be doing a talk. That said, today is extraordinary because we are welcoming a woman, and I need to say a big shout out to Justine Shelton. Uh, for those of you who may not have read my newsletter, I uh, was speaking to Justine about my concern about the young people uh, throughout the world um, with this COVID and the education, et cetera, et cetera. And she said, oh, you have to meet my friend, uh, Noemi. And I thought, oh, this is wonderful. So I looked up all of the things that um, were sent to me and I, I was stunned, <laughs> just stunned. So um, it is an honor and it is a delight um, to welcome Noemi, um, who is the founder of Education 3000. And I'd like to start before I greet her with a quote that is actually on her website and it says, there is no cause which merits a higher priority than the protection and development of children on whom the survival, stability, and advancement of all nations and indeed of human civilization depends. That was written as a plan of action at the World Summit in favor of children in September of 1990. So with that, Noemi, thank you for being here. We are so, so honored you're in Bolivia. You're, you've had a long day, it's, it's dinner time for you and you're just being so gracious to be with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'd like to start by um, asking you, um, I believe that you were in anthropology in the very beginning, am I correct? You were a French anthropologist. Um, and then you moved over to education. Would you like to maybe share with us how that came about? Yes, sure. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Avi. Thank you, Justin. And thank you, everybody watching us or watching us later. Because education now is true. It's a most, 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 most priority. I am French. I have a French accent. Mm -hmm. And yes, I was an anthropology <laughs> and an anthropologist at the beginning. And then a switch, completely switch. It was like my mission into education and the new education. I'm not talking about the old one. Because simply of, because of my children, they were extremely different. And the last one, he was six years old and um, he, was, he was kicked out of his school <laughs> at six years old because he, had a, he made a strike, he organized a strike. And it was a French school. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Years old. And he had a, he organized this strike because he said, one, and he went to the director to tell him, too much noise. I don't want the, the, the teacher to shout. No the teacher from the of the um, the class next to my class, because he was hearing him through the wall. And then he said, I want everybody to have 20 out of 20. 20 is the, the grade we have in France. And uh, that's it. And the director said, you are kicked out. Go outside. He took a taxi and came back home. <laughs> Six years old. And then on and on and on and on. So I said, OK, I had very good time as an anthropologist. I knew wonderful people, wonderful culture. It was a healing for me. And then I thought I have to give something back to this society and do what I consider my purpose right now. And it was a blast because it was only my children. It was so many children, so many young people, babies. And now we are talking about the babies nowadays. 
with extraordinary uh, abilities we, we are not aware of. Even when we were even more than, I mean, we were studying so much children. We did like 20 years of research. But now the last news and the last report, the, the, it's blowing my mind. So it blows, blows my mind away. So this is a beautiful subject and we have to support, to help the children, to help the teachers, the parents, because with that, we are opening doors for the new society. We are opening doors to take better care of the planet, of ourselves. We are putting the stone, I mean, the fun, um, la fondation, the, the, you know, the stone when you have a foundation of a house? Right, right. For a new society and really practically. So it's, it's a double importance for the children to save them, let's say, from the system and for the future society because we introduce, introduce all the new paradigms of peace, solidarity, new economy, new way, teamwork through education. So for us, it's an open door, a portal. It's, it's a beautiful opportunity. It's not the problem of education. It is an opportunity of education as Albert Einstein said. So. Amazing. Um... For those of you that may not have had a chance to, to go on to um, Noemi's website at all, um, she's just she's a, a researcher and international speaker. Um, she's hosted over 1,500 events. Uh, it's just in five different continents. Um, author of uh, or co-author and author of 12 books. Um, just just amazing what she has contributed and, and the awards that she has won for her work in education. Um, so let's talk a little bit, if we could, about what this is. What is, um, I'll call it P3000, because that's that seems to be what, um, what the Education 3000 has been shortened to. Um, so what is it that makes P3000 so very, very different? And maybe we can when we when we discuss that i'm sure the concept of the seven petals will come up so maybe we can just sort of segue into that um but how did you come up with this paradigm with this sort of foundation this platform um and and build from there <laughs> well from being brought up in france i knew exactly what i didn't want <laughs> for my children as well. So the more than a method, because you know, a method can be obsolete in three years. If everything is going so fast and moving and changing and connection and all the continents and and um, the, the pace is, yes, you are right, it's, it's, it's fast. So we decided to invite everybody to co-create. So the right word is co-creation, co-create a new education, but according to their local needs, um, local economy, social background, history, local culture, and your own dreams. At the same time with the vision, we are one planet and uh, we are one. It's about solidarity, brotherhood, and ecology as well. It's one planet you have to take care of. So with this common background or common denominator, we invite everybody to do something. And it's not about something big or put one million into a school is to change at all level. And that's why we end up with the seven petals because we want to make sure we take care of all the levels of development of a human being and, and of the society and with the planet, I mean, take care of the planet. So it, it worked very well, this combination, because it's like to, oh, Yes, I always wanted to do something and now it's possible and now I'm not alone and now I have tools and now I'm part of a team and now I'm part, I'm sharing my dream to everybody. So it's from inside to outside and all together. That's basically the definition of P3000 or Education 3000 or Pedagogia 3000 in Spanish. This is where I live in Bolivia, uh, Spanish speaking countries is uh, an invitation to transform, to co-create, to rebuild a new, beautiful, integral education. It's, it's, um, it's extraordinary. Uh, it just gives me so much hope. Um, it, um, I, on the website, it says that the Seven Petal School consists of pedagogic package, 
leading to the co-creation of a transition school, which is integral, productive, ecological, and designed towards the personal holistic development of the children and the adults which accompany them. These kinds of schools are pilot innovative schools, enhancing a responsibility, protagonist, and productive pedagogy. So these seven petals, um, each petal is, is, um, is a very sort of specific um, portion of the education. Would you like to describe them maybe a little bit more than so that people sure, who are maybe sure. not familiar? And later on, maybe I can show you the, the picture so it's easier to, to remember. But you know, basically, you know we wanted to about. make sure. And by the way, it's not only for children, it's for young people and for us, for the adult, for the grandparents. I, I have a grandmom, I have my daughter, granddaughter in China. Oh. She's one year old. So yeah. it's for everybody. Even um, in your enterprise, we have to take care of the seven petals as well. You can call it pillars or maybe another word, not so flower, flower, but it's for everybody. So first, fit physically. And I know Justin is uh, number one in being fit and, and about prevent, preventive or, um, preventing health, I think the word is right. So that's the blue petal. And then all the topics, but new topics actualized, it has to be updated and in context and useful. That's the first. <laughs> number one condition and fun and in team imagine my time we can't even help the neighbors i mean the the the, the, the kid next to me i mean it, it was forbidden <laughs> to help right. third in um emotional intelligence take care of the emotions peace culture social science self-esteem so we made a petal and it's pink <laughs> for this, only for this peace culture. Peace culture and education has to be hand in hand. Peace inside, peace outside, peace with nature, and then peace in the world. Huh? Mm -hmm. Then we made the white petal is about beauty and heart and express yourself by all the means you can find. Then of course we had to have the green petal, ecology and new source of energy. No, we buy by uh, petrol or <laughs> gasoline. It was a disaster, but that you can um, you can just kind of put it inside the physics and chemic uh, chemic classes, and you can see other ways of producing energy like biodiesel. But it's uh, under the curricula. It's physics. Nothing, nothing to say about it. Just physics. And then we have um, uh, red to do workshop, hands on. Any ideas you have or great project, you can do it. You can manifest it in the matter on earth. So it's very relaxing. Like, oh, yes, if I have an idea, I can do it. It's not frustrating like when it's only theory, 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 and you can't do anything. It's very frustrating, especially for young people, because they want to do. And the last one, of course, personal development. And you are an expert, Abby, you are an expert, Justine, and um, that's uh, seven petals. Well, in yoga, we love the petals because they are, they are the lotus flower as far as we're concerned. So this is, this is really beautiful. So let me share this screen with you and maybe um, I may actually end up. And we put colors so it's easy to remember. And of course, all the petals, they interwined. I mean, they, they are, they go together, but for a teacher or a parent, it's easier to remember, or oh, I don't want to forget any aspect of the development of the human being, of my children, of myself, right, of right. my house, of my community, my town. Yeah, we have a project, it's a town of the seven petal school, uh, of the seven petal. Well, let me make you host and, uh, yes, sure. and uh, let's see what happens. So I'm going to change you and then you can change me back at some point. So sure, let me see. Yeah, I have it. Beautiful. So I prepare some, okay, some pictures and slides. I'm going to make it bigger. I guess you can see my screen, can't you? Yes, yes, perfect. Can you see it, Justine? Yes, I can, thank you. Beautiful. Great. So 
yeah, we say P3000 because of pedagogia 3000, but right. actually in English is, we can say education and we put three O's to make it different. Mm -hmm. And we want all the countries to interact and exchange to make it worthwhile. So the definition is a worldwide invitation and synergy to co-create a comprehensive education with awareness and care. Awareness, consciousness are the key words here. And of course, care. It has to be human. We are human beings. It's not about math, it's about a human being, a human right. heart, a human person. Right. And then we want to mix with peace culture, multiculturalism, and a lot of fun. And very flexible. So we have to be careful with that. Everything is moving at the speed of light. So, and uh, this is a very short video and uh, we are going to go around the world. The sound is okay? No. And the song I, I think is for us. It's 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 uh, unbreakable from Thomas Bergerson. It's beautiful. I I actually tried to look it up. <laughs> I thought the music was so pretty. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I love this um, musician. And three pillars, as I told you. First, an happy and happy human being, active, who is not afraid to do and proud of doing and be useful for his her society and caring for the planet. Here is Bolivia. Um, this yeah. is where we have our retreat center. I live like, um, it's about eight hours from La Paz. This is a Titicaca Lake, this picture down there. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> and uh, we have many NGOs, the good news for you in the state. We have one, uh, it's almost done. It's called Education 3000 Network in Los Angeles. And uh, last year we had one in France as well. This is all the event. And we have facilitators, it's not only me, but we, we had a lot of events. And this is all the Congress. We have scientific, scientific Congress as well and Architecture 3000 Congress. Next one is next week. This is for children in high risk zone, it's called Post Trauma Program. So I worked a lot with refugee children Right. At, uh, at the border of Syria and in Syria as well. This is our facilitators. It's about 80 now, 80. And they are trained by me. Seven better schools that are uh, up to Mexico, but we don't pass the border. We have to go further up north. And yeah, young people, we have programs, beautiful programs. I mean, they have programs. I don't do anything. And um, this is just about the children, just two things, 
so I won't make it too long. But that's for the parents who are listening to us and teachers. The pediatrician observed that they have a faster metabolism because of the ATP inside the mitochondria. So it's not really hyperactivity, nor deficit attention disorder. It's a new metabolism that I will invite everybody to research and to, to know more about it. So we don't have to label them and or give them pills or drugs because on the contrary, we should honor and be so happy that they come with this new metabolism and kind of energy and multi-level multi -level attention, multi-level, supra attention. And they are very sensitive. The five cents are very sensitive. This is called hyperesthesia. So no shouting and uh, nice clothes, no, no scratching, sketching. And the last one, I invite you to do some research on synesthetic brain. Synesthetic brain, it's a brain that will perceive everything at the same time and extremely fast. Uh, when you have time, please see the videos of Daniel Tamet, it's in English, and you will know about uh, this new kind of brain. And my hypothesis is that many children will work kind of with this kind of brain, but we don't really realize it. So it's very important. That's why they are so fast and they can do many things at the same time and they have a different way of approach, like multilateral thinking type of intelligence. I repeat, multilateral type of thinking. Ah, here is uh, the, seven, the famous seven petal school. So seven petal, seven area, or seven pedagogical area or block, I don't know how to say. Of course, they are all inter, um, interconnected. So the first, and, and this, inside, this book is in English, by the way. So type the seven petal school. And uh, two days ago, it was on Amazon. So pretty soon we can have it on Amazon as well. It takes three days. First movement, everything is, if, you have, if I feel good in my body, I feel good in my emotion and I can learn better. That's a rule. First the body, then the emotion, then to learn, not reverse. And that's fundamental. And neuroscience, neuroscientists, they all say that. We, we, have, we are backed up by the research now, by neuroscience. So anything they like, uh, karate, martial art, dance, water, swimming, dance from all the countries, different dances, multicultural, rap, um, break dance, hip hop, whatever, but have fun with your body. Parkour, <laughs> parkour, uh, they love it. Don't make jump out of the third floor, but they can do, of course, parkour for 11 years old, 10 years old, um, climbing. This is, those, these are real school, they are fun. And then we go to the yellow. Yellow will be like a fun with all the topics, but renew and renew curricula or a renew syllabus, completely different and fun. And I mentioned Shishida and Glendoman and No Esperon because they have very new ways of rapidly teach, especially to young kid. And that's what I like. And I really like ancestral writing and reading and all kind of ancestral pedagogy as well, of course. Not only the new, new method, but as well the old, old traditional method, they join because they are all in alpha waves and above. And it's fun. And it's reconnect with our DNA. Uh, and Pink, I talked about it already, Peace. And I recommend this book of Daniel Coleman. It's an it's not new, it's an old book, but it's beautiful, emotional intelligence. Yeah. is more important than the IQ. So we have to take care of it. No competitive games, we'll go here. Circle, this is a listening circle. These guys are three, four, five years old. So we can do it from a very early age. Peace culture. And, um, and we have a program, it's called School Ambassador, Amb Ambassador for Peace. That's okay so far? Beautiful. Are you with me? 
I, I talk too fast people. sometimes. When I'm happy or emotional, I, I go yeah. fast. No, no, this is great. I want to just just um do. I just want to say, if anyone who is listening at this time has a question, please please um uh, write it into the Facebook uh, in comments. Um, and, and Justine will get it over to us in, in Zoom. All right. Maybe I can see this chat right now. Okay, good. So far, no questions. I love the white petal. It's about beauty, beauty inside and beauty outside. And we mixed with all kind of art and it's a very good way to express, express, express the children and the young people they have so much to express and it has to go out if not sometimes it's too much when you keep everything inside and you can go into depression or kind of going down or nervous breakdown and it's true it's really true we have to attend that you we can put this beautiful universal geometry this is absolutely gorgeous and it's very good to center as well we can put all kind of music and useful art. They, they like to create useful, like a, a furniture, piece of furniture, um, curtains. This is a famous Fibonacci. We use that in our logo. And peace, we can use art to create and to make people aware of peace. This Pasate La Paz is um, join us with peace. And anything digital. Remember, they are digital native. Digital, digital. I know it's a lot of screen, but we balance with nature and with a lot of sport. But we can't, <laughs> we can't avoid it now. Right. Even us, <laughs> see, Abby, I mean, we, we are in front of the screen. So <laughs> deep ecology, new source of energy. Oh, this is beautiful and it's therapy. And when you are with Earth, with Mother Earth, with the soil, with your Feet on the soil, no shoes. We it's so so therapy. Therap no, sorry, therapeutic. And preventive health program. It's better to prevent than to to be sorry after. All kind of new kind of energy from Tesla uh, coil to solar oven. As I said, physics class. Red is about to do. And I like about doing, you have a notion of community service. So you know if you have a talent, if you have um, a gift, it's not only for you, it's to give to the humanity, to give to your planet, to give to you, your society. And that way you really help and fulfill why you are here. So all kind of workshop and so on. And then, uh, robotics will be under red and community service. We are not, I mean, and then it's even more joy because you feel so useful and you feel like you are blossoming with your talent. And personal development, of course, and it's purple. <laughs> Anything from relaxation, breathing, silence, moment. I put this one, our yoga, I think it's so much fun. And you are backwards and your pineal gland is, oh, it's activated and they love it. And I do too. When we have trainings, we do it too. <laughs> or, and, or acrobatic yoga. And I do it too, because it's a, it's a challenge. And for young people, I, re yeah. I really, really, really love it. So the invitation to do your own school, or not even school, it can be environment. It can be virtual learning, bio, eco environment. I don't like the word school, but make something beautiful to blossom all together, all together. It's not the kids. I mean, it's all together. We are opening more, more paradigms, more. Um, we are opening a new society. We are opening our heart, mind, heart. We are opening a new way of living and loving each other. So it's very important. This is all our programs. And then this is a bio region where we have teams and then we can exchange even by Zoom now is, is the best yeah. way. It is very cheap. And this is how to get in touch with us. YouTube, website, Facebook, email. Oh, oh, I forgot. Well, YouTube is Education 3000 with Rio. 
I forgot about the marathon. We will be live five or six hours, 27, 28th of February. Oh, and wow. maybe, maybe you can be our guest this, a little with this great marathon. We can talk about it. It's all live and all around the world. So we know what, type of, uh, what people are doing. We share that. And the architecture, it will be the end of March in English with architects and new ways. We have secret geometry, seven petal school, echo into smart cities and green architecture and parametric architecture, which is fabulous. This is amazing. Thank you so, so much. This is amazing. So I think, um, wow, <laughs> I'm trying to digest all that. It's amazing. Um, I think we have one question so far, and that is, um, how can I find teachers who have been through your trainings and share your philosophy to work with my kids in the US? In the US, we have two facilitators. One speaks in English in Los Angeles. She, she, she's perfectly bilingual. And we have other trainers in Mexico who speaks perfect English. So you, so in our website, education three O's, 3000, there is contact. And then you click on facilitators. Okay. I'm right. not sure we have that. So not all the facilitators speak English, but we have at least uh, 1000 and we can get them. All right. And they can give online, whatever, or they can, when we can travel, they can go and I can help too. Right. If you my English well enough, yeah. I know it's great. And, uh, that, and we can organize Zooms. So um, and then all the videos are for free and you can uh, on YouTube, you have all our videos you can unload and see and check and have all the information. So I think that they would be interested in being able to at least speak with the facilitator here. So we'll give that information on, uh, in, on Facebook um, as to how you can contact her and um, her, right? Her, him, her, yeah, her. her, okay. <laughs> um, uh, um, next week, which, which I'll get into in a second, we do have another question, but um, next week we'll be going through in a little bit more detail um, how we can really access um, these, these tools. Um, but the next question is, um, I am a parent, not a teacher. Am I allowed to take your trainings to help prepare me to teach my child? <laughs> it's not allowed, you are more than welcome. <laughs> Remember, Yay. teachers, parents, grandparents, it's a teamwork. On the contrary, plus education starts at home. Plus now it's not only school, it's homeschooling, travel schooling, unschooling, agent schooling. It's a, we have a large Zoom, of course, schooling. And Zoom can be fun too. There, there's some tricks. So the idea is to <laughs> see all the array of possibilities, mix them and do whatever it's, it fits your needs and the needs of the child. Wonderful. So now it's a more, it's easier than ever, I would say, yeah. even in the state. Yeah, yeah. Um, would you- no, I love the state. I used to live in the state actually. My first, uh, my first child is, um, no, the first two are from the state. Ah, excellent. They were born in California. Would you be able to share uh, the name of the, uh, facilitator in LA, um, LA. In, in the chat and then Marisol. Maybe, I put it in the in the chat Marisol yeah. and then maybe Justine would you be able to transfer that to and I can get the, the email right now and she's a president of the foundation by the way education network And if she, she, if she's not available or she has too much work, uh, we have others anyway. You can write to me and I can put you in touch. Are you able to copy that into uh, Facebook, uh, Justine? I'm writing it down just in case. U E B O S O L dot O. Yes, I'm getting it there. Beautiful, beautiful. 
So I would not be able to do this if just he wasn't on the other end. I'm just not techie enough yet. I say yet, yeah, there's hope. So um, it's interesting that you bring up, and we're almost out of time, but it's interesting that you bring up that whole conversation um, uh, about the brain, uh, because I, I've, I've just, I find that so interesting. And I know that on your website, um, you have a um, some, uh, quoted Dr. Uh, Rodriguez, um, who's a pediatrician and um, educator in Venezuela. Um, and you also mentioned an Italian uh, scientist, um, Rizzolotti, uh, who shed light on the social cognitive neuroscience and explains that mirror neurons allow us to understand the mind of the others, not only through conceptual reasoning, but also via direct stimulation, which is feeling, not thinking. So that is just so very in keeping with what those of us listening who are yoga practitioners, yoga instructors, etc., that whole um, concept of, of letting go of that thinking brain and just, just really feeling what's there. Um, I'm hoping that that's what what this means. Is that correct? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And the um, uh, Giacomo Rizzoletti is from Italy. Ital it's Italy. So he said all the um, mirror neurons, neurons, mirror neurons, neurons. Mostly they are here in the front brain. Usually where we have the third eye as well. And you can capture, and this is proved scientifically, you can capture the feeling and the, and the thought of the other person. And many children, they can do that, especially before seven years old. And it's nothing rare or strange. It just, their <laughs> mirror neurons, neurons are more activated and they have more empathy, more sensitive, they can feel. And the, there is a, a guy who said, I can feel, think this. He made a word in, wow. because of that. He made up this word. And Dr. Dr. Um, Rodriguez, she said multi-centered brain. So the brain here, the brain of the heart and the brain of the stomach. But the brain of the heart is the most important mm -hmm. because you have this electromagnetic field out of the heart, not out of the brain. And we need this field. You know that you are both, you are, all of you here are therapists actually. So this is very important in education. This is gorgeous. Oh, um, wow. Next week, as I said, next Wednesday at four o'clock, um, we will have the distinct honor of Naomi. I mean, no, no, Amy. my pleasure, my pleasure. Of um, of um, Naomi um, being with us again, but this time to really show us um, a little bit more concretely. Now that we have a better understanding of what this what this um, education is about, um, a little bit more concretely as to how we can really access the tools. Um, and, and be able to really bring this a little bit more into the US, which would really be quite amazing. I don't think there's anyone listening that does not feel that we as a country need this desperately. Um, certainly as a world, we do as well. So um, do you have any final words that are just popping into your head that you wanna share before we close out today? Now, probably people are asking where to find the information, and it's free. It's uh, www.education with three O's, 3000.info. Great. Education 3000.info. Feel free to unload, to share. This is heritage of the humanity. It's not, um, it's copyleft, it, it's for you. It's beautiful. And I will be putting this, as always, I'll be putting this onto YouTube. Um, directly after we have finished today. Um, and I will also, um, I, I will put the link and everything into Facebook for everyone. And I'll be able to once again, share these, um, these links, et cetera, and these names for you. So um, I, I thank you deeply for being with us. I, I just really, it's, it's tremendous what you are doing and I'm so encouraged. I have, I have hope, <laughs> tremendous hope now that I don't know if it was really there to this extent before. So thank you. Um, we will see you next week. We will see all of you who are, who are listening next week. 
Um, and if you were not able to catch us live, I hope you'll catch the YouTube and, and join us next week. So we'll see you then. And both uh, uh, Noemi and Justine, please don't go away. I'm going to leave, but I'm going to keep us on for a second. Bye. So take care, everybody. Namaste. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Leave. All right, leave meeting. I don't want to.